Okay guys, in this uh, video we're going to have a look at uh, transformations, but a little bit more specifically translation. So transformations, there's four different types of transformation. Translation, which is this one today, rotation, reflection and enlargement. Okay, so we're going to have a look at one of these called translation. Now the key thing with translation is that the shape does not change its size, does not rotate, does not flip. It doesn't do anything. All it does is just move. And there's four different options. It can move up, down, left, or right. Okay, so it's quite easy to spot a translation if you're ever asked to describe one because, I say, it's just moved. And to describe how it's moved, we use a what's called a column vector, where, as you can see here, these are all column vectors. So there's a number at the top and a number at the bottom. And what these refer to is the more general term that I've got over here, where the top number is the x value, and that tells you whether it goes left, right, left, sorry, left or right, because if this is the x-axis, you can go left or right, and the bottom number tells you whether or not you can go up or down, so that's in reference to the y-axis, where you can go up or down. Now, if this top number here, which is referring to the x, is negative, you go left, and if it's positive, you go right. If the bottom number, the y value, is negative, you move the shape down, and then if it's positive, you move the shape up. So I've got a couple of examples here of, what, uh, of column vectors and what they need to do. So let's have a go at them. So the top number is positive, so it means I go two to the right, and the bottom number here is positive as well, which means I go three up. Okay, so that's the first one, nice and easy. Next one then, so minus one, so the top number is negative, which means I go to the left, and because it's minus one, I go one to the left, and then this one here, positive on the bottom, and it's a four, so positive means I go up, so I go four up. And last one here to have a look at, minus three on the top, so it's negative, which means I go three to the left. And the bottom one is negative as well, which means I go well, it's minus six, so I go six down. Okay, so that's just what the column vectors mean. So that tells you whether to go left, right, up, or down. So if you have a look at an actual example, this one here, so here's my shape. Here's the vector that I'm going to translate this with, minus 3, minus 4. So it means I'm going to move the shape 3 to the left and 4 down. Okay, so different ways you can go about this. I just choose a point. I'm going to choose the top there. I'm going to move this 3 to the left first. So 1, 2, 3, and get there. And then go down 4. So 1, 2, 3, four brings me here so this point moves here okay now you can do the same thing with every single point so you could do this one here one two three one two three four and this one here one two three one two three four that's absolutely fine alternatively and some people do this absolutely fine just make sure i'm not moving it get a bit of tracing paper and you can trace the shape like so. There was my original point that I started with. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And again, you can just make sure that you've lined up properly. I would use a ruler to do this in the exam. But I'm just going to do it very freehand now. Okay, so there's that shape which has been translated there. Another example, here's my shape A, and the first thing we'll do is translate it 5, 0. So what does this mean? Well, the top number is 5, so remember the top means I, if it's positive, I go to the right, 5, and then it's 0, in which case it does not move up or down, it stays exactly the same height, it doesn't go up, doesn't go down, it stays exactly the same. So again, I'm going to choose a point, uh, I'm going to choose this one here, the top right-hand one there, I'm going to move this point 5 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
So it goes there, and just a reminder, the zero doesn't move up or down, so it's just gonna to go to the right. Same thing with this one, one, two, three, four, five. And with this corner, one, two, three, four, five. And lastly, this one here, one, two, three, four, five. And again, you'd use a ruler in the exam, but just to save time, I'm gonna do that. And that's gonna be called my shape B, because sometimes they ask you to do another one. And here's my other one here, okay? So this bit here has gone two to the right, and it's negative, which means I go three down. So I go one, two, one, two, three. So it's gonna go there. This point here, one, two, one, two, three down. This one here, one, two, across, one, two, three. And lastly, one, two, one, two, three, down there. And again, I'm just gonna do it freehand and that's going to be called C. Okay, so don't worry if it overlaps the axes. Absolutely fine, you haven't done it wrong. Sometimes that's just what they want you to do. Okay, so that's my that example there. You can use tracing paper at any point to uh, test these. In the exam, you're entitled to have tracing paper. So if you want it just to check or help you, make sure you do obviously ask for that. So that's just how you actually translate. What you might also be asked to do is describe a translation. I'm just gonna make sure that is still in line. Yeah, that's fine. So, it says describe the transformation that maps shape A to shape B, so A to B. Now, because it says transformation, it could be any of the four that I mentioned earlier. So rotation, reflection, enlargement, and translation. So for the first mark, you need to say which transformation it is. Now it's quite easy to spot that from A to B, it's gonna be a translation because it's just moved. So for the first mark, we see it say it's translation. So one mark in the bag. Now what information do we need to do a translation? Well, we've just been doing it. We need a column vector. So that's what we need to work out to get the second mark. So again, just choose a point choose the same key deck, choose the same point on the other shape here and see what happens when I go one, two, three, four, five across to the right. Remember, if I'm going to the right, it means it's positive. So five to the right, so five on top for the X value. And then one down. So if I'm going down, it's minus one. Okay, so one mark for saying it's a translation, the other mark for saying what the column vector is. Let's have a go at A to C. So again, I've spotted it's a translation. So one mark for saying translation. And with a translation, we need to know our column vector. So let's have a look. Well, I'm going A to C. So this time I'm going from A to C. So I'm gonna choose the same point at the top of my triangle there. One, two, three across to the right. Brilliant, so there's positive three. How many down? One, two, three, four, five down. So minus five. And last but not least, just make sure, that the reason why I put this one in here is just so you read the question. It's not always A to B or A to C or anything like that. You know, sometimes you do go back on yourself. So read the question and make sure you are doing the right mapping. This time I'm going from C to B, okay? So again, translation for one mark. Seems like a trivial thing, but people always forget it and always do lose that mark. So just make sure you are doing it. And then again, I'm going from the top to the top. So I go uh, one, two across to the right again. So yep, positive two. And I'm gonna go, how many up? One, two, three, four up. So positive four, remember positive means you go up. Okay, so that's a little bit of a, um, Insight guys, I've had you translation. Hopefully it helps. Cheers.